unconscionable, and we have to start connecting the dots. And you guys can do it because this can't continue in this manner. This is out of hand. Part of what I did over the last year is I got involved with a team from MIT that knew there was a problem. A research student from MIT was doing um, her PhD involving impacts of or effects of some of the chemicals used by the natural gas drilling industry and she was doing work with Theo Colborn in Garfield and doing field work also in Garfield County. She went back to MIT and gave horrified reports of what these folks were up against. She said, what can we do to help them? The Center for Future Civic Media from MIT, which is a media lab, launched a project using technology to help capture some of this data and share information from grassroots, from landowners, so that all these stories wouldn't just vanish. And there's a project called WellWatch. It's wellwatch.org. And it's a web-based Wikipedia model of reports of stories, just like the two I gave you and more. And beginning to get our hands on this information and see patterns that are occurring across the country instead of just having it happen and nothing gets done, it goes to the next place, it'll happen, get repeated, nothing gets done. The other, the other aspect of this project is sharing information so that every community doesn't have to grapple with the issue like it's the first time it ever happened. What I like to say is don't recreate the wheel. If your community is going to be dealing with gas coming to town, look at where they've already been and learn from those lessons. 